guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video I will be doing a test and review about these glow ball sticks from Sunny Space and I'm excited kasi pinila ko to and alam nyo naman ako may liga ko sa subtle highlight and all and I'm actually wearing it on my face right now so I just got two shades kasi ito lang yung naswatch ko na feeling kong okay sa skin ko so ito lang yung binili ko so if you guys want to know my thoughts about it if it's really worth the hype or okay ba siya na pipila kayo just to get these products then please continue watching so this is the box I lined up there for almost an hour just to get these. Sobrang na-excite ako kasi mahilig ako sa mga glittery, shimmery, and you guys know it. Pasensya na ulit sa audio kasi sobrang lakas ng ulan kahit na pa-lunch pa lang. Sobrang maulan ngayon so medyo magulo yung audio. But anyway, I need to do this video and review. So ito yung itsura niya. I just love the fact that all of your purchases comes with a box na sobrang ganda. Like, sakto na talaga siya pang regalo. Lalo na ngayon na holiday season. Essential na din kayo at magulo yung buho ko. So, ito, dalawa lang yung binili ko na shades. Though, tatlo yung available na shades for the Glow Boss. But, these two I have been meaning to try. So, first I got the shade Femme. So, ganyan yung itsura ng kanyang box. Ang ganda din. And then, I have Hey Girl. So, these are the two products that I got. And this is how it looks like yung kanyang packaging and yung box. And siya, meron siyang plastic sa gilid para makita nyo. And I'll just be doing a close-up so you can see. So, ayan siya. This is the front and then this is the back. So, ayan. Maliit lang naman siya. And then, you can see the sides. These boxes remind me so much of Korean or alam mo yung parang millennial type of makeup and skincare. It's just very aesthetic. Tapos, ito naman. Ganyan yung itsura ng kanyang product. Medyo malaki siya. Pero sobrang cute niya and it has a, ano man tawag dito, parang matte finish. And then we have Sunny's face right here. Tapos yung shade is underneath the product right there. Tapos ito, i-open natin. Sorry, sobrang lakas ng ulan. Pero, ayun yung insura niya. Ayan, ganyan siya. Sakto lang naman siya for me. Parang pwede na din siya for travel. But kung may mas maliit pa nito, I think sobrang cute nun. Tapos, ganyan yung insura ng product. Ayan siya. Ito pa lang yung natatry ko on my face and I have already a review about it. So, later on, I'll discuss it with you guys. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. Let me do a close-up. This one, um, Hey Girl, is more of like a champagne color. And then, this one, more of like yung coral. Or sakto for 2019. So, ayun siya. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Talagang binabaliktad ko para makita niyo. And then, um, ito yung product niya. Ayan. Pero parang for me, hindi naman siya sobrang onte Parang sakto lang kasi, yun nga, na-try ko na to and you just need a little amount of product. Bakit ba ako nag-review na agad dito sa part na to? Pero, ayan siya. And then, this one, yung Femme. Wait lang. Ayan. So, ganyan yung product niya, guys, inside. So, first, I'll be using this one. This is the shade Hey Girl. I'll just be swatching it at the back of my hand so you guys can see as well. So, ayan siya. Nakikita nyo ba yung shade niya? It's very champagne. I just love the color as well. So, ayan. Pag nakikita mo, medyo malayo sa light. May pagka-bronzy-ish effect siya ng very light. And then, um, next we have the shade Femme. It's very pigmented. Like, pagka-swipe mo pa lang, meron na siya agad color. So, ito, mas may shade siya ng onte na parang corally na pwede din siyang gawing blush if gusto nyo. So, ayan yung shade ng dalawa. Nilalayo ko siya medyo sa ilaw para mas kita yung kulay niya. So, ayan siya. Silapit naman natin for a close-up look. Hindi ko na kinuha yung Mama Sita kasi nung tinry ko siya, hindi siya garan kaganda sa aking skin. And medyo pricey to. So, dalawa na lang yung kinuha ko. Kung titignan nyo yung Hey Girl, parang dark siya. Pero pag in-apply nyo siya, hindi naman. So, Ayan, yan siya. So first, I'll be applying Hey Girl. Nakita ko na yung videos nila about this product. Like, how to use it. You can apply it on your cheeks for a highlight. Um, dito sa Cupid's Bow. Um, as an eyeshadow. Or pwede din kahit saan sa face actually. Pwede din siyang blush. Depende sa inyo. And also the skin type and skin color. But then again, this review is my own opinion. Also, I bought everything with my own money. This is not sponsored or given to me. So, ngayon, ayan, just to clarify with you guys, now I'll be applying this one. First, I'll be using my fingers muna. So, yeah. Ngayon natin siya dito sa, ano, dyan. <laughs> Kung saan sa highlight. Ayan, ano, nakikita nyo. Meron siya agad color, but then again, onti pa lang yung na-apply ko. So, try pa tayo ng onti. Pero nung nakita ko yung video on 
um, Instagram. Parang ginagawa nila is sineswipe kasi nga for those who are on the go, like me, na nagtatrabaho, or yung mga students, kanya, para mas madali mag-makeup. So ngayon, try natin yung technique nila. Kasi kung nakikita nyo, pag ginamit nyo yung finger, sakto lang yung um, pag-apply niya, pero madali siyang i-blend. That's what I like about it. And it doesn't emphasize any of my pores or kung ano man yung dyan sa skin ko, hindi siya na-emphasize. And kung titignan nyo sa malayo, nakikita na yung glow niya kahit pa paano. Ayan. Pero try natin kung ito mas okay yung pag-apply niya. So, Kita nyo na agad yung yung strip of ano dyan, highlight. So, let's just blend it with my fingers. For me, hindi siya yung blinding highlight. It's just a subtle highlight, which I love. Alam niyo naman ako paano ako mag-highlighter. Usually, parang um, more of like yung liquid texture or yung parang yung mga galito, yung mga stick kasi mas gusto ko siya dahil madali siyang i-blend and I have dry skin so hindi na emphasize yung dryness ng skin ko pagka ganito yung texture na ginagamit ko. So, ayan siya. Fairness, di ba? highlight siya. So, this is how it looks like when I look up front. As you can see here on the left side of my face, I just have my foundation. Walang nakalagay na kahit ano dyan. And then, this one is the glow boss. If you would notice on the right side of my face, it's really glossy or glowy. Tignan siya. So, ayan siya. And then, next, I think I'll be using Femme on the left side of my face para makompare natin. Ano nga ba yung difference yung dalawa? Kasi, kahit ako, before um, akong bumili, nalilito ako, ano ba yung mas maganda, Femme or Hey Girl? Pag titingnan ko yung videos, parang Hey Girl yung magagamit ko everyday. Pero yung Femme, parang okay siya sa aking um, skin or yung color ng skin ko. So, parang ako. Sige, try na lang natin yung dalawa. So, ngayon, gamitin ko ulit yung fingers ko to apply this product. It's my first time using this shade. Um, yung Hey Girl na gamit ko na siya once. So, ayan. Apply lang din natin siya dito. Ooh! I love the color kasi mahilig ako sa mga ganito yung very light coral lang siya. Ayan. In fairness, meron na siyang agad color. And nagulat ako na magsishow up siya kaagad sa skin ko. In fairness, I, I love it. So, ayan yung difference nila. This one, you can see I mean, parang may pag, yung pagka-champagne niya, pagka tumatagal pa, mas nakikita siya lalo. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. And then this one, I love. I really love the color. So, ngayon, apply natin to. Napadama siya. Pero I'll just be applying it all over my cheeks because I think it's a perfect everyday blush. Parang gusto ko siya. And it's really blendable. What I love about this product, it's really blendable. Hindi siya um, tao dito nagmamark sa face. So, ayan siya. Ooh, in fairness, it really gives you that healthy glow. You can really see the difference right now. This one is corally, coral vibes yung nakikita niyo dito. And then, this one is very champagne, glowy. So, ito, maganda pa siyang patungan siya ng blush or ng contour. This one, um, parang mas feel ko, mas perfect siya for everyday. Like me, na mahilig lang ng glow yung itsura. So, ayan siya. In fairness, ah. So, this one again is Hey Girl, and then this one is Femme. So, right now, nakikurious ako, ilalagay ko din siya dito sa mata ko. Try natin siya as eyeshadow. Try natin dito si Femme. Nakapag, ay, nakapag mascara na kasi ako, so hindi ko siya pwedeng ganunin. Pero, ayan, medyo may onting color, pero hindi siya yung kitang-kita talaga. Siguro, damihan pa natin ako. As you can see, it's it's just really glowy. Parang yung mga mahilig sa wet look na makeup, ganyan, or yung shiny lang. Ayan siya, dito yung mata ko nawala. Parang nagkaroon lang siya ng sparkly kahit pa paano. Pero, I mean, naging sparkly lang siya kahit pa paano. But I actually love the subtle effect of it. So, this is Femme, and then ito yung wala. So, ngayon, lagay natin yung Hey Girl dito sa kabilang side. Nawala kasi yung ulan, so hindi ko alam kung yung audio kamusta na. So, ayan. I'm gonna apply this one. This one! Ooh! Mas ano siya? Mas sparkly siya, as you can see. Ang ganda ng pagka-champagne niya. Ayan. Mas maganda pa siguro to kung meron talagang eyeshadow and then you just highlight it. Or pwede rin siguro yung base. And then you add more glitters to it. I don't know. Hindi naman ako everyday na nag eyeshadow talaga. Pero, kung mag eyeshadow man ako, usually yung ganito lang. Like, yung very Korean eyeshadow. Alam nyo naman yun, guys. Very Korean ang aking makeup lagi. So, yung may onting sparkle lang sa eyes just to make it look 
livelier and ayan, in fairness ha. So ayun ang itsura niya. Nakikita niyo yung difference. This one has a touch of coral and then this one is just champagne. Pag tinitignan mo sa video sa'yo, parang pang. Ganyan. Siguro depende rin talaga sa lighting kasi dito sakto lang siya. Minsan kung titignan mo pa nga siya ng mas malayo, hindi siya ganun kahalata. Pero pwede na din. It just really gave me that healthy glow. I think I'll just be finishing off this product here. Lagyan lang natin siya ng... Oh, in fairness ha. Lagyan lang natin siya dito para ma-highlight yung ibang points. Sa kakatawa kasi magkaiba siya. We have here the coral one. Tama ba? Ito yung coral and then we have here the champagne one. Sana nakikita niyo yung difference. Nakikita ba? Mas, mas corally lang to. Parang mas gusto ko yung finish nito sa skin ko kasi hindi siya super duper halata talaga. This one... Hindi pa kung nagda-darken ba siya kung nakikita niyo ba. Pero, ayan. And then we just apply it here. So, my final thoughts and review about these two products from Sunny's Face, yung kanilang Glow Boss, Hey Girl, and then Femme. I actually love it kasi mahilig ako sa subtle lang na makeup. Pero if it's um, something that you will be using na parang kunwari sa event, parang feeling ko mahuhula siya agad, lalo na sa weather natin. And also, I have like mixed feelings about it if it will really last the whole day. Napansin ko lang kay Hey Girl, parang pagkatagal nawawala na yung parang highlight effect niya sa akin. It still has that sparkles, yun yung napansin ko throughout the day. Pero hindi na siya yung kasing highlighted talaga pag um, apply mo initially. But I still love it because I love glitters. Again, we all have different preferences kasi yung iba, hindi nila masyadong gusto yung glittery. And if you have oily skin, I think this one won't work that much. Siguro kasi baka mahula siya or you make sure that you set it with powder or um, setting spray. Pero for me, if you really love that Korean look, very glossy, glowy, this one would really work. Though some may find it pricey kasi it's 445 but sa 400 something pesos siya for um, a tube and then Yun nga, medyo unti lang talaga yung product niya. Pero napansin ko, parang tatagal to ng 6 months or so sa akin. Kasi nga, unti lang yung kailangan mo. Hindi, hindi naman siya nababawasan agad. Meron siyang, yung kanyang texture is very, um, ano ba to? Parang fine siya na hindi naman siya yung madaling um, mag-melt. Parang ganun, yung pansin ko sa kanya. And I just love um, the packaging as well. It's, ewan ko, it's very Korean to me. That's why siguro medyo may pagkabayas yung tingin ko sa products. But I love it. And yun nga, sana siguro kung maglalabas sila next time, um, more shades na parang may mas lighter. Kasi parang napansin ko, um, darker na to. Parang medyo dark na siya. And also the mamasita. Pero I think this one would work well on Morena kasi napapansin ko dun sa videos nila. Sobrang ganda ng videos in nung ads when they use this one and I think this one is perfect for the beach as well. Let's see kung ano inalabas nila for summer. I'm so excited about that. But this one, um, okay naman siya for me. Pero yun nga, siguro it's not something that I would purchase again kasi alam ko na mayroon pang ibang products na mas maganda. I just hope they improve it to be a much more parang glowier. Parang yung talagang mayroon pang um, onti na glow. Kasi yung favorite ko from Peripera, um, it's just a liquid. and Andito pala siya because I did a video. So, ganyan siya. Um, ito naman, it's in a liquid form and this one is just a highlight that would last you the whole day. You guys have been asking me what highlight I use. So, ayan siya. Oh my. Hindi pala siya na ano, nag-ano pala siya tawag dito. Nakikrease siya. Wait lang. Napahin ko lang napansin. Let me just blend it for a while. Siguro yun din. Kailangan din siya iset with a powder. Pero, Ayan, wala na increase. So, ayun nga. Para for me, if you have like the budget, go try it out. Pero if you don't have it, you can just look for other options. So that is it for my review and thoughts about this product. If you have any other questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Or kung natry nyo na din to, let me know your thoughts about it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next videos. Bye guys!